Liu Yifei and this is the truth Crystal Liu, born in Fang, August 25, 1987, known by her stage name Liu Yifei, is a Chinese-American actress, singer, and model. Active in China, where she is widely known as Fairy Sister, Liu was named as one of the new four Dan actresses of China in 2009. In 2020, she starred as Mulan in the Walt Disney Company's live-action film Mulan. Early life Liu was born in Tanjai Hospital in Wuhan, Kubayas and Feng, followed her father's surname and she is an only child. Her father is in Chicane, a first secretary in the Chinese embassy in France and a French language university professor, and her mother is Liu Zili, a dancer and stage performer. Her parents divorced when she was 10 years old and she was raised solely by her mother. That same year, she adopted her mother's surname and changed her name to Liu Zimzi, her godfather is Chen Jinfei, the chairman of Beijing Tongjin Investment Group. In 1997, when Yu was 10 years old, she and her mother immigrated to the United States. She lived in Queens, New York City where she attended Louis Pasteur Middle School 67. In 2002, she returned to China to pursue an acting career and changed her name to Liu Yifei. Several weeks after returning to China, Liu was accepted into the Performance Institute of Beijing Film Academy at age 15 and graduated in 2006. Career 2003-2006, rising popularity immediately after her admittance into the Beijing Film Academy, Liu received offers to star in various television series. Her first television appearance was in the period romance drama The Story of a Noble Family, 2003, based on Zhang Henshui's novel of the same name. The series achieved the highest ratings on CCTV and positive reviews from audience. The same year, she was chosen by Zhang Jiazong to play Wang Yuan in Ami Gods and Semi Devils, an adaptation of Louis Cha's Wuxian novel of the same title. The series was broadcast in Taiwan and achieved a rating of 5.69, becoming the highest rated Chinese drama in Taiwan. Liu's role as the beautiful Wang Yuan earned her the nickname of Fairy Sister by the media and fans. In 2005, Liu starred in Chinese Paladin a fantasy action drama adapted from the role-playing game The Legend of Sword and Fairy. The drama earned a cult following, and solidified her popularity in China. After the drama aired, Liu gained acclaim for her performance and swiftly experienced a surge in popularity. The same year, she was chosen as the Golden Eagle Goddess at the 6th China Golden Eagle TV Art Festival. 2008-2013, transition to films After achieving success in television, Liu then ventured onto the big screen. In 2007, she joined William Morris Agency WMA, and was subsequently cast in her first Hollywood production, The Forbidden Kingdom. She played Golden Sparrow, an orphan seeking revenge against her parents' killer. Thereafter, she starred in romantic comedy Love in Disguise, 2010, opposite Taiwanese singer-actor Wang Li Hong. In 2011, she starred in fantasy supernatural film A Chinese Ghost Story, adapted from strange stories from a Chinese studio, the same year, she was cast as Wu King, emotionless, in Gordon Chan's Wuxia film The Four, adapted from Wu Sui Oan's novel series The Four Great Constables. She subsequently reprised her role in two other installments of the film series. Liu won the Best Actress Award at the 5th Macau International Movie Festival for her role as Ling Zhu and Diokin in the historical film The Assassins, 2012. 2014-present, International collaborations and television comeback In 2014, Liu collaborated with Korean actor-singer Rain for the romance film For Love or Money, based on Hong Kong novelist Amy Chung's 2006 novel of the same name. Though it did reasonably well at the box office, the film was criticized for its storyline and production. Liu starred in The Third Way of Love, 2015, her performance in the film led to her win for the Most Anticipated Actress Award at the 16th Chinese Film Media Awards. The same year, she was named the first Chinese ambassador of D or Prestige and became the global ambassador of Dissot. I made a CC, Liu Yifei, film festival for myself, and saw her works have the shock moments in her performance. That convinced me that she would be perfect for the part, leading actress in The Chinese Widow. When you have two actors like CC and Emil, you know they are so clever and so talented, so it's. Academy Award winning director Bile August in 2016. Liu starred in romance film Night Peacock, a Chinese-France co-production directed by Dai Siji. She then starred in the youth romance film So Young 2, Never Gone. In 2017, 
Will you start in romantic fantasy film Once Upon a Time by award-winning director Anthony La Molina Ura and Jose Oding. She also starred in the historical film The Chinese Widow directed by Bile August. The film premiered at the Shanghai International Film Festival as the opening film, and Liu was nominated as Best Actress. The same year, Liu reunited with White Vengeance co-star Feng Shoufeng in the fantasy comedy film Hansen and the Beast. In November 2017, Liu was cast as Mulan in the live-action adaptation of the 1998 Disney animated film, which was released in 2020 to mixed reviews. In December 2017, it was announced that Liu will star in the upcoming fantasy mystery television series, The Love of Hypnosis. This marks her first small screen comeback in 12 years. Personal life Liu started dating Song Zhihian in 2015. They met in 2013 while filming The Third Way of Love. In January 2018, Song's agency confirmed breakup reports by stating that both of them had been very busy and they naturally grew apart. Controversy In August 2019, Liu reshared an image posted by Chinese newspaper People's Daily, an official newspaper of the Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party. The image included a quote from Chinese reporter Fu Guohao who worked for People's Daily-owned tabloid Global Times and was subsequently assaulted by protesters during the 2019-20 Hong Kong protests, I support Hong Kong police. You can beat me now. What a shame for Hong Kong. This sparked international controversy, with Liu being accused of supporting police brutality. Following this, the hashtag hash boycott Mulan started trending supporting a boycott of the movie. In response to the controversy, Liu was not present at the 2019 D23 Expo, which gave fans an exclusive sneak peek of Milan. When asked about the controversy in February 2020, Liu stated, I think it's just a very sensitive situation. During an interview with Variety magazine at the premiere of Milan on March 10, 2020, Liu described herself as Asian instead of Chinese, which caused anger among some Chinese social media netizens who threatened to boycott the movie and accused her of forgetting her roots, as well as questioning why a non-Chinese national was playing the legendary Chinese icon. In March 2021, Liu cut ties with clothing brand Adidas over its support for the Better Cotton Initiative, a non-profit group that promotes sustainable cotton production, after the trade body pulled out of Xinjiang, China citing the rising risk of forced labor involving AI Muslims. The move was echoed by other Chinese celebrities as part of a broader campaign by the Chinese government to pressure Western brands and consumers into continuing their purchase of cotton produced in the region. Music career Liu signed with Sony Music Entertainment Japan in 2005. She released her first Japanese single Monaco no Door with Sony Music on July 19, 2006. Her debut album Liu Yifi was released the next month in various parts of Asia such as mainland China. Hong Kong and throughout Southeast Asia, featuring a diverse music repertoire including rap and soft rock. In the same year, Liu also released her Japanese album in which the single, Monaco no DOA was chosen to be an inning theme for the anime series Dimashita. Powerpuff Girls Z by TV Tokyo. Awards and nominations Competitive Feature Film Festival's Main Competition Unit Year Award Category Nominated Work Result Ref. 2016 40th Montreal World Film Festival Best Actress Night Peacock nominated 2017 20th Shanghai International Film Festival Best Actress The Chinese Widow nominated Other Film Awards Year Award Category nominated Work Result Ref. 2013 5th Macau International Movie Festival Best Actress The Assassins won 2016 16th Chinese Film Media Awards Most Anticipated Actress The Third Way of Love won 13th Guangzhou College Student Film Festival Most Popular Actress Night Peacock, Never Gone won 2017 9th Macau International Movie Festival Best Actress Once Upon a Time nominated 2021 First Critics Choice Super Awards Best Actress in an Action Movie Mullen nominated Forbes China Celebrity 100 Year Rank Ref 2005 58th 2006 51st 2007 43rd 2008 87th 2009 43rd 2011 93rd 2017 23rd 2019 89th 2020 30th netizens thought Song Zhihian and Liu Yifei are a couple again after he did this it's been over two years since Korean actor Song Zhihian and Chinese actress Liu Yifei announced their breakup but that hasn't stopped their devoted fans from hoping that they would get back together on April 24, Yifi, 32, went on Weibo to share about the online yoga classes she's been attending. 
Eagle Eyed Netizens noticed that among the 400,000 likes the post received was one from Suhian's official Weibo account. Is this their way of showing that they're back together? One netizen wondered. Are they testing the waters to see what the internet's reaction to their reconciliation would be like? Asked another. The topic soon started trending on Weibo, and the media quickly went to the 43-year-old actor for clarification. But the response they got was, well, not the good news everyone expected to hear. His agency said, a staff member was uploading the poster of his upcoming drama when, Yifi's, update appeared on the feed. He, accidentally hit the like button. They have not started dating again. The statement not only poured cold water on the news but also caused the actor to be criticized endlessly by netizens who felt like he was making use of Yifi's popularity in China to make headlines. All this was his cheap way of promoting his new drama? What a low life, wrote a netizen. Another added, does he really think that we don't know what he's doing? The least he can do is show some respect to his ex. Yifi and Suhian met in 2013 while working on Chinese-Korean film The Third Way of Love. In August 2015, they admitted that they were a couple after they were snapped out on a date together. Suhian even went as far as to declare that he saw Yifi as wife material and that he hoped to tie the knot with her. Sadly, they called it quits in January 2018, citing their busy schedules as the reason behind the split.